Hey, it's Jonathan Sprinkles here, your connection coach and founder of GreatSpeakingTips.net. I'm here with your next great speaking tip. As you can see, I'm here in Los Angeles, California in whoo-wee, one of the nicest rooms I've ever been in, ever. Look at this bed. Bam. Getting ready to go. So there are my bags, but this place is off the hook. This is bigger than my first apartment. <laughs> I'm outside in my birthplace, Los Angeles, California, and that's what you see, the home of champions right there, the Staples Center, Lakers, baby, West Side. I don't know why all of the Californians feel like we have to be so darn ignorant when we rep our city, our state. But listen, here's why I'm doing this great speaking tip. Uh, I want you to look at my suit. <laughs> well, kind of. More importantly, I want you to look at my tie. Uh, it's purple, as you can tell. Well, the reason why I'm wearing this tie is because I'm here speaking for a, an international association of Chamber of Commerce executives. And the reason why I'm wearing this particular color is because that is their organization's color. So here's your great speaking tip. Always do a little research beforehand as you're packing and find out what the organization's colors are and make sure that you wear them when you are doing your presentation. Now, this means that you want to have colors in your wardrobe that span all of the basic colors. I'm talking about uh, blue, gold, purple, uh, green, sometimes you'll find some of those. You always want to have a little diversity in your wardrobe because you're going to want to be able to match them. Usually organizations will have two colors and they're only going to be like five or six different colors. Of course you want the primary colors and then just a couple of extras. The reason why this is so important is because when you are on stage subconsciously, you're going to give them that impression that you're one of them or that this message is endorsed by the organization. That's a, the first form of connection and you don't even have to do anything in order to get it. All you have to do is just wear the right clothes. And here's another little piece as well. Now this, yeah, you could see these little spots here, but uh, for the most part, it is a solid. From far away, it looks like a solid color. So uh, that is another piece that is very important because if you're going to be recorded and you're going to be using this for your demo video or for other promotional pieces, you don't want to have a really loud color tie or scarf if you're a lady uh, or blouse if you're a lady or just confused. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have a very loud color because it will upstage you. Remember, this is the main event right here. That's the main event. Everything else is just secondary. So if you have your blouse or scarf or tie that is saying more than you are, the audience is going to be more drawn to your wear than they will be to your message. And that's a problem. Think about politicians. What do they always wear? Red or blue? And it's usually going to be a solid color. And there's a reason for that. So don't try to be creative. Fashion will get you phone numbers, but this is what gets you booked. Okay? <laughs> well, that's a great speaking tip. I'm your connection coach, Jonathan Sprinkles, here at the Staples Center, baby! Home of champions, Lakers, Magic Johnson, Kareem, and Kobe, and Shaq. Oh, I shouldn't have even said their names together. <laughs> Man, it feels good to be back home. I'm loving it. I'm about to go down and enjoy myself at this conference, but I wanted to make sure I shared this great speaking tip with you. Go Lakers, West Side, and remember, points are powerful. Connection is